the fast, cheap, reliable mud coins, go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot, sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got another top 5 video today, today I'm going to be doing top 5 run plays, uh, because when I put out my top 5 passing plays, you guys requested it like crazy in the comments. So I figure I'll get that out right away, hopefully it'll be as successful as the passing plays video was. I'll put a link in the description for the passing plays if you missed that. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. If you guys could do me a little favor though before I start, if you like these type of videos, uh, you want me to do more defenses, uh, any anything else really, uh, do me a favor, scroll down a little bit, hit the like button, like, shares, comments, all help out my videos uh, and my channel. So if you want to do that, I'm hooking you up, try to hook me up back. Other than that, if you like what you see, make sure to stick around by hitting the subscribe button. So starting off, I'm going to say just about anything out of the strong power eye. Um, I don't even know which one's my favorite, but it's somewhere between the blast and uh, the double lead. Now, I'm going to say that since these, this video will be pretty short if I don't do a uh, combination of plays. So I'm going to do uh, every one of these. I'm going to try to do two run plays because that's going to make the most sense. So let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're just going to go random 4-3. If you watch any of my gameplays, I definitely did a lot of uh, videos with the Ravens this year. So you've seen this formation a lot. And I think, I'm pretty sure I was smacking a lot of home run plays with Bo Jackson with this particular uh, series of run plays. The double lead especially. Uh, when I originally put out this video, I did not have the double lead in it. Uh, but this, this is just a really overpowered blocking formation. I don't know if I'm going to hit a home run on just about every one of these run plays. It's just a really consistent formation. I'm not going to say it's the most explosive, or at least I'm not going to have the most explosive success in a practice mode. Uh, but I definitely, like I said, I use this in gameplay all the time, and it is very explosive. I get very explosive runs out of it, uh, especially against users. They just don't know how to handle all the blocking. That's that's the main thing. So as far as how to run this play, you can see the blast. I'm flipping the run play a lot. Um, you know, if it's a cover three, I would say the only time you really want to flip this play is if you see a cover three safety in the box. Other than that, I mean, typically, you know, this play, you can run it to either side, uh, but you can see, like I said, right here, we're going to get our best run right here, although I definitely didn't get the block, or I definitely didn't take it wide right there, uh, but, but you can see there's definitely a lot of opportunities to be had. Like I said, when I originally put out this video, I did not include the double lead. The double lead is a very good run play, but I would say the blast is definitely the best out of the two. Um, as you can see, we're just getting the most consistent blocking from that. The next play is also in the Ravens. It's the Gun Heisman, which is something that I used a lot, once again, in my gameplays. The only thing I want to do is make sure that you replace uh, the Heisman quarterback, Robert Griffin, because this is a formation that has uh, multiple quarterbacks in it. That's why it's called the Heisman, I'm told. Uh, once again, you have two plays. The shovel option is definitely my favorite, but the Heisman option is decent as well. So go ahead and pick that. We'll continue going random nickel. This is a play, another one, really easy. If you have a, uh, a man coverage, um, typically going to the, uh, the, the this side is going to be the easiest. Um, I mean, that was not a man coverage. That was a zone coverage. And there was multiple defenders that all stopped in the area. But you can see it still had success. I'll go to the replay. Um, this is another one. If I'm inside the, if I'm, if I'm inside the 10, this is one of my go-tos. Any short yard situation, this is one of my go-tos. You can see right here, multiple defenders. All three of these guys are free. And it's just me and the running back. And the pitch still bails me out. That's what's so great about this play. That pitch is like a five-yard pitch. And this guy's wide open to the point where he's get the boundary pretty much every time. You're not going to get that look from plays where you don't have something like that, where you don't have a pitch option like that. And when it comes to online in general, people just don't really do a very good job with this particular play uh, when it comes to stopping it. It's pretty rare that I run to people that know how to stop this play. This play is going to be best against cover three, cover four, where the corners are playing back. This here looks more like a cover two or something where there's a cover two, but it still doesn't matter. Like I said, this is just such such a consistent play uh, to get you that five to ten yards. And if it's a man coverage, which I haven't really seen yet, a lot of times man coverage is no cornerback on the right side. So you're going to get really explosive runs against that. Like I said, right here, look, it's got three guys all of them crashing down but it doesn't really matter I still get the outside edge um, in my gameplays if you watch them a lot of times uh, the quarterback uh, will create a block which really helps spring this play uh, to, to, an, to another level too which is really great a lot of times you can either do like I'm doing hold the pitch until the last minute and basically take out that defender or a lot of times he'll become a blocker downfield which makes this play even more OP 
Another combination of plays that I really like is out of the single back wing pair. This is something, once again, I use this a lot. It's a stretch alert looky, and the second play of that would be the halfback inside zone. Very good plays to run together. Three tight ends blocking. Uh, you can replace them with linemen, which a lot of times on my mutt team, I don't even have three tight ends on the roster, so a lot of times I have linemen already. Um, if you have a cover three, like this looks like a cover three, uh, although ultimately it doesn't have the effects, so it's probably not a cover three, it's probably a man. But if you have a cover three, a lot of times you can motion out one of these tight ends uh, and it'll make the cover three cornerback go back. But right now, like I said, it's probably man coverage because that's not the case. So like I said, if it's a cover three or cover four, I'll run this to the edge, have a very successful run outside. I don't typically throw it to the receiver unless it's a man coverage. So this here looks like a cover three. Like I said, if I motion this guy out, a lot of times it'll just make that cornerback go back a little bit. That's all I really am looking for. It's not a huge difference, but every yard counts. So he's starting off here around what looks like the 42. If I motion him out, drops him back a few yards away from the line. He's closer to the 40. Um, so like ultimately, you know, it's not a huge advantage, but it's something that you can do. And you can see right there, it didn't even really help out. Ultimately, I think it's fine just leaving where he is. Uh, against cover two, it just looks like cover two or cover four. Like I said, I really like to go uh, with it with this inside run. Um, it's a very consistent run the opposite way. So that's one of the things that makes this successful. Is you have really explosive runs to both sides of the field. So I mean, ultimately, if I see a, a lane right in front of me here where this uh, where this particular um, you know start is, you see you have a wide open gap. I didn't quite get the the carry once again. I don't necessarily have the speed I do on my mud team. So like I said, if I see the the uh, the defensive line shifted over like it is here and I have a huge gap right where this lane's going i'm going to switch over and i'm going to hit the inside zone i'm not going to force it i probably could have went either way here because you can see the cornerbacks off um the tight ends have a, a, a edge i mean i could either i could have went either way i could have went with either run play and would have had success uh, but like i said i mean ultimately if there's something right in front of me i'm going to take this it's a much easier lane and then if i had the speed i mean i really didn't quite have the speed i could have easily got outside and got a very big play right here um, but you know mark england is pretty much a, a in between the tackles runner next up out of the strong slot we have uh, a couple of good run plays but the best two since that's pretty much the theme of the video are probably the jet touch pass which technically is a pass and the triple option it's another play that's really great this year because so many people are running man um, to the point where there's never a lot of, you know, there's a lot of times where there's nobody out here. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that makes uh, this so successful is because you have the two wide receiver on one side. So, like I said, if you get man coverage looks, uh, a lot of times, like I said, a lot of people don't know how to stop these plays. And a lot of times you really have the closest defender like 10, 15, 20 yards off in zone. But if you're looking at like a cover two or something, you can hold the A button, go the opposite way. Uh, it's, you know, I like triple options based off the fact you really have explosive runs to both sides of the field, which keeps your opponent honest. So here we got another man coverage, get that ball out, like I said, last second, and then boom, there's nothing out here. This is just a, a really consistent run. I also like the way this formation is aligned for the jet touch pass. You get a lot of extra blocking, and you see how basically everybody is going to turn out field. Once again, very good against man coverage, which is people's preferred weapon this year. I don't have the right receiver in the spot, though. I probably want my fastest guy, Hollywood Brown. So next up, we have another very consistent formation I put out of the single back wing flex from the Eagles playbook. Um, it's really mostly the halfback stretch and the halfback zone. This is another one I run uh, in, game, in my gameplays a lot. I mean, the stretch, anything that's, you know, cover three, cover four, um, you're going to have this outside. Uh, and then once again, you have your option to go the other way, which is going to be the inside zone. Um, if you have like a large gap, I mean, here's once again, we got that cover three look. We're just going to hit him with that stretch consistently. Um, there, I just like slip right through. Like I said, very, very consistent run for the stretch play, but it has to be man or cover three, cover four. Um, and then if you have like a, a gap right here, obviously you want to go the opposite way, but they're keeping continuously giving me the cover three, cover four look. So I'm just going to keep taking that. That might have actually been a man coverage. Both of these runs are really consistent if you get the right look. I'm not really getting the best look to run the inside zones. Uh, typically you'll see like a huge gap on the one side. That's going to be the best time to run it. Like right here, uh, we have that gap. Like I said, a lot of times that, that guard, he just does a great job of double teaming the point of attack and then getting to the next level. So when I'm running this play, I really look at this guard, the way that he basically double teams this point of attack and then gets to that next level linebacker. That's what makes this play so successful successful is it pretty much always sets that up it doesn't even have to be a good guard i don't even think we have a good guard in the game right now this left tackle here usually when like i said when i have a huge gap a huge wide alignment like that he'll kick that guy out and he'll create that block every time so that's really the look that makes this most consistent is if you have that wide spacing between the dt and the de so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section at the like button other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below